Good morning, and welcome to our Daily Word. This morning, it's Wednesday. It's a chilly but sunny, beautiful morning out. Glad you could join me for our time together and our ongoing conversation around Scripture. We are deep in the season of Advent, of course, and um, we are approaching uh, the time of incarnation in our lives, and we prepare ourselves for that. And, of course, all the things that go along with it. Um, just a reminder that tonight is our final Advent Wednesday night. If you haven't signed up, it doesn't matter. Just come anyway. There's always, always plenty of food and things to share as we uh, continue our conversation um, through the, our study that we've been doing around Advent and the conversations around the table, of course. So hopefully you join with these words. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her child to be delivered. And she gave birth to him, a firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of claws and placed him in a manger, because there was no place in the guest room. So it's a story, of course, that we know well, right? We hear it every Christmas Eve. We're going to hear it this Christmas Eve. Um, in just a couple of days. And these important words that Luke decides to give us about who the characters are and the immense toll and challenge that it placed on the lives of Mary and Joseph. So we've, we've talked about Joseph a bit in our daily words and, you know, his obeying God and being, being so close to God that he accepts this big challenge. Uh, we've heard from Mary, of course. We're going to hear about from Mary on Sunday morning um, at worship. And, and Mary just hearing from the angel Gabriel. Um, only, only Gabriel, um, you know, could come and give this kind of news to Mary. And that she ponders this thing in her heart. Mary goes to visit Elizabeth, her cousin, you know, and they, they spend time together. But then in the midst of all of that news and all of the challenges that happen, now a census is decreed. And it requires that Mary and Joseph travel and make this long journey to Nazareth, to Bethlehem, to be registered. And of course they arrive there and there's not room for them in the house of relatives. Maybe they didn't know they were coming. Maybe because they were pregnant and not married, they weren't allowed in the house. Maybe they feared all of that. But after this long journey, of course, you know, Jesus is born. Mary gives birth. And then all of this begins to play out. I marvel still at Mary and Joseph. And I said it the other day, and I continue to claim, you know, that I'm pretty inadequate compared to people like them. You know, who just, we just imagine this toll that was, that they went through, this challenge that was placed on their lives. And they did it all by obeying God and trusting God and even making this long journey to Bethlehem and being not able to stay in a house, in a room, but, but finding shelter somewhere else um, under the house, probably um, where the animals were bedded, where it was cold, when it was cold and a, a manger, a cradle for Jesus. We prepare ourselves for this holiday, for this season. We prepare by shopping. We prepare by baking cookies and, and wrapping gifts and planning meals. Some of us, you know, 
I'm playing by packing the car. Diane and I had that conversation just the other day. We we went um, from Sydney through Sydney on 47 to Bell Fountain and then Bell Fountain to Kenton. And uh, we remarked how many, 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 many times we made that trip um, to our parents on holidays. And we'd load the kids up and pack the car full of stuff. We'd often spend the night or more than one night and make that journey. And, you know, it's it presents all kinds of unique challenges, right? But in the midst of all of that preparing and all that we we have to do in life, we too, um, sometimes I think we don't take time to marvel at the possibility that even in the midst of those things in our lives, God meets us there, you know, and, and comes to us just right as we are and accepts us and, and, you know, challenges us to live faithful lives. And I think in this season of Advent, you know, as we gather, we're going to gather on Sunday morning with lots of food, breakfast in the fellowship hall. You really should come and share in breakfast and good worship. We're going to hear scripture Sunday night, we're going to gather at 7.30. The choir is going to sing. We're going to have a pop-up choir. And we're going to share in that worship together. And it just helps us prepare, you know, for what's going on. Mary and Joseph, accepting God's call in their lives, made this journey. And I would hope that you and I, you know, would make this journey you know, come and be in the place where God meets us, um, settle ourselves for just a bit, be reminded of God's grace, um, and and find ways, you know, I guess my hope is that I would be just a little less inadequate, um, that I might listen to God and be more faithful to God's call in my life as Mary and Joseph were. So that's our word for today. Um, hope you'll join us tonight. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. But just a reminder that Friday, um, we'll gather again at 10 o'clock, but then we won't gather again um, until January 3rd. I'm going to take those days off. I'm going to be spending a lot of time with my grandkids. They're going to be running around the house going crazy. So we have a couple more days, and then we'll take a little more than a week off, and then we'll gather again on January 3rd. So as always, I pray you'll know of God's love in this season of Advent that surrounds you. Know of my love for you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock.